morning guys today i don't have a lot of time to get ready so i want to film quickly to show you guys what is my quick get ready with me routine in the morning when i don't have a lot of time i'm gonna start with batiste dry shampoo it is the hero on my days where i don't have time to wash and style my hair and my hair right now is three days old so i just shake this up then i hold it about 30 centimeters away and straight onto the root to absorb the oil but it leaves my hair smelling and looking refreshed like it doesn't look greasy at the root anymore just use my hand to mess that in and then i usually just comb through to make sure that it's kind of gone through all of my hair and that it gets sort of extra residue it doesn't get clumpy on me yes i like adding some additional sprays in the back especially and then just right on the side to give a bit more volume and it really gives me that texture so i can rock that like undone look so I don't really need to do anything with my hair after this. Kind of gets that like messy bad head look. I especially love the brown one that I'm using because it helps add that like little tint of color. And if you have dark hair and you're new to the dry shampoo thing, then you don't need to worry about any white residue that you're scared you might not be able to get out. Oh, I love the smell of it. It's not too strong either, which is nice. So I don't use a cleanser on my face every morning anyway, so it um, really saves me a lot of time. But I do use some sort of toner today. I'm using the Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. It just helps get rid of any excess sebum that's on your face um, from when you were sleeping. I feel like when I sleep, my face tends to get the most oily. So I gotta make sure that that comes off. Like look guys, like it's always like kind of brownish. So there's always oily residue on your face when you wake up. When I'm in a rush, I will use one product that just kind of encompasses everything. So I'm currently I'm using the Vichy Mineral 89. So instead of putting like my whole spur of skincare, this kind of just covers everything almost. So I do use it still when I'm doing my whole skincare, but I feel like it is hydrating enough and balancing enough that I can just use it when I only have time for like one skincare. However, I cannot skip eye cream, so today I'm using the Ule Hendrickson Transform uh, Uplifting Transformation Eye Cream. I like this one because it's very cooling in the mornings and it kind of helps me wake up on the days that I'm running late. So another product that does more than one thing in one and is a great quick product to use is the Kiehl's Skin Tone Correcting and Beautifying BB Cream with SPF 50 in it and this one has a tint so that you don't really need to put on foundation or anything. And I like that the sun doesn't leave that white cast on my face because usually when I put on sunscreen on my face, which is like every day, sometimes the white cast can be really hard and take quite a while to blend out. And I like that it dries like this like velvety matte finish. I could probably do my quick routine with my eyes closed. Maybe I should try doing that one, those blindfold makeup challenges. So now I'm gonna use the It by By Pores powder to just kind of make my face smoother looking. I've really fallen in love with this setting powder because it actually keeps my makeup on for a really long time and it smooths everything out, giving me that like airbrush look. I can't talk when putting on powder. I usually spend the most amount of time on my brows, but when I'm in a rush and I limit myself to one product, I use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil because on the side it has like a thick and thin end so I can really kind of get all the parts of my eyebrow in one shot. And whenever I am in a rush, I tend to go for a straighter brow just because it is usually easier to fill and define than a arch brow because sometimes an arch brow just needs a little bit more work and I tend to use different products for arch brows because um, it requires like more definition and precision. This other brow is always harder for me because there's less hairs on it and the hairs grow in in a funny direction so it always takes me a little bit more time. All right for my eyes I'm just gonna do a bit of liner and mascara so I'm using the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon because it is really easy to use. I focus on my outer corner just to make it look like I have fuller lashes. And I don't really put much in the inner corner when I am doing a really quick look. Then because I do my eyeliner pretty quickly, I just go in with a quick brush to blend it out so that it looks smudged all the way around. So then it looks like purposely smudged and not accidental. <laughs> all right, so mascara, I'm using the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom as a starter to define my lashes and kind of comb them out. I don't even have time to curl my lashes today, so but my lashes will be contingent on whatever mascara I use. And then I'm using the Marc Jacobs uh, Velvet Noir Mascara. 
major volume mascara. Now I'm gonna pop on the Lipstick Queen Morning Sunshine, which is an appropriate name. It's a yellow um, lipstick, but when you put it on your lips, it just changes the color uh, whatever matches your lips. So it's kind of been my go-to for my natural looks lately because I like the color that it turns out into. It just kind of gives me a, a pop of pink. I cannot talk while putting on lipstick. And it's not really a lipstick because it's very balm feeling. It's more like a lip balm, I feel, in a lipstick form. And I'm ready to go. I feel like I do look fresh faced and acceptable enough to be walking around in public. My hair looks good, full, voluminous. It's almost like I did my hair, but I literally did not even do my hair. I friggin' put dry shampoo in it. So I really actually have to get going. So I'm gonna get changed and head out. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.